This is the latest innovation that rests on top of prior developments. That makes the things that we're doing safer and more precise. It's a fairly small contraption. We call it a hexapod. Looks like a green Coca-Cola can that's attached to the patient on a railing. And that's attached to a computer system that sits somewhere in the operating room. What it does, it duplicates my own plan. So the day before surgery, I load the CT of the patient's spine um, into the computer and then I segment it. I break it into levels. And then I do what's called virtual screw placement. So those are virtual screws that I've placed in L4 and L5 vertebra. I've selected, pre-selected the length, the diameter, and so this is the blueprint mm -hmm. that I will take to the operating room with me. When the patient's positioned on the operating room table, I load that plan and the CT into the computer in the operating room. And then we have to tell the system that the CT belongs to the patient who's actually laying there. So there's a process of merging data acquired in the operating room with the data acquired before in the form of a CT. It serves as a guide for the drill. I would really consider it for um, complex reconstructive cases. This can be anything from a revision surgery, redoing surgery that was done previously. With revision surgery, the normal anatomical landmarks are lost. So you don't have much to go by to safely place instrumentation. Anytime we deal with deformity surgery, robot becomes uh, very helpful. There's a few publications that I've seen reaffirming that it is more precise than human being, than what's called freehand, and it does show that it's more precise. I think we will be able to see perceptible difference in return to the operating room for misplaced screws, number one. Number two, when we do a longer construct, meaning more than three or four levels get fused, it does create a very stiff segment of the spine. And a lot of things happen at the junction between stiff fused spine and unfused spine, higher up. So you can break down faster and can start deforming. And with the robot, uh, I'm able to minimize the stress at that particular level, at the transition zone. So I've always felt safe at St. Mary's with the top-notch team for the spine, but with the robot, there's this extra level of assurance that I am as safe as I can be, number one, and I'm as effective as I can be.